Welcome back to Taking Action for America. A little glitch there. My name is Oliver Sharp. I'm joined now by Patty Dennis Klein, Executive Director of Arlington Fairfax and Falls Church affiliate of Rebuilding Together. Thank you for joining us today, Patty. Oh, it's a fabulous day. Yeah, um, we're very excited to have you here with us today. Gary had mentioned the affiliate network when we opened. Can you just tell us how the affiliates uh, fit into Rebuilding Together and their role? Sure. We take the idea, the concept, the vision, the mission of Rebuilding Together, and we adapt it to our own community needs. Um, we take the partnerships, the opportunities, the initiatives that Rebuilding Together at the national level have created, and we bring it home and we put it into play. We're the doers. We're the people that go out there. We find the homeowners, we find the volunteers, and we mesh them together, and we create a improved homes, improved spirits, um, and it's just, it's a great partnership. So you're one of over 200 uh, executive directors of affiliates across the country. You mentioned actually getting out there and finding the people that uh, might need the assistance of rebuilding together. How does that process actually work? Oh, in various ways. We go to the local governments. We go through Agency on Aging, Meals on Wheels, places where people that um, or maybe seniors um, may go. They need services. Uh, we send out information um, in property tax waivers. We find any way to get and reach out to the community. We go through faith communities. Um, we hit targeted neighborhoods. Um, any way that we could reach out to people is all they have to do is to call us and say they need an application. We'll tell them how it works and go from there and go out and do an assessment of their home. Amazing. And you said that um, people can find, if they're skilled, a skilled laborer or volunteers, how can they find out more about you and actually find their local affiliate? Well, if they go to rebuildingtogether.org, um, they'll have a little map locator that says locate an affiliate. And then you just have to go in there and you could find any of the 200 affiliates that are across the nation and that will give you a phone number or a website to learn more about that particular affiliate and what they do. Excellent. We just had National Rebuilding Day 2009 just passed. Um, I understand you were also out in the field. Oh, yeah. uh, what was your experience like? Well, I was lucky. Um, we had about 1,800 community members that volunteered. We worked on 48 houses and every house was different. Um, it was just incredible. What we did is we took initiatives like um, energy efficiency stuff and we went in and did that work. So we would, in one house, we insulated the attic and underneath we changed out light bulbs to CFLs. Um, we replaced appliances with Energy Star appliances. Um, and then we did home modifications. So we made the houses more accessible. Um, just incredible people. And it's the volunteers, the homeowners, the sponsors that all come together and really make it work and make a huge impact in people's lives. It was very. It was amazing to me the scope of the work that was going on. You mentioned a lot of different things that were happening uh, in your area. I also saw light bulbs being changed all the way up to new roofs being put on, stairs being fixed. So it's everything from the little things to kind of some really heavy lifting to get these people's homes back in shape. Well, Patty, thank you for joining us so much. The affiliates are out there. There's two, over 200 across the country. Please get out there and get involved. It's rebuildingtogether.org. Right now, we're going to head out to Las Vegas, and uh, this is a very heart-wrenching story, so let's check in in Las Vegas. We are on Autumn Burns' property now. She is uh, an elderly lady who is partially blind in one eye and totally so in the other. About three years ago, she had an electrical fire that destroyed her home. Well, I couldn't live in the main house. There was no power. I moved into the garage so that I'd still have shelter. I don't think anyone wanted me to stay on the property. It was so bad. The house has been gutted completely. It has been actually completely rebuilt, and it's our most ambitious project to date. My name is Chris Horton. I'm a construction manager with the Air Force, and here with Rebuilding Together, I am the house captain for Alden Burns residents. We have about 35 to 40 volunteers here today. From outside, we have landscaping going on, uh, some painting. Uh, we have fencing going up uh, around the outside inside. Uh, we're getting the house prepped for a texture. We got rock going down, small rock, big rock, 
covering up as much as we can. Uh, we're fabricating the gates for the fence, making it more secure for her here. Cricket Communications has uh, chosen to team with Rebuilding Together uh, because we wanted to give back to the communities where we live and work just like Rebuilding Together does. Cricket is supporting Rebuilding Together by donating over $1 million for home repairs and home improvement throughout the community. Without the sponsors, we wouldn't be able to do our work. Along with their financial support, as well as their in-kind contributions, and the manpower that they bring us, we're able to accomplish what we need to. At the end of the day, when you're going home, you have a gigantic smile on your face because you know that what you did was, was helping someone else, and especially in this particular project, you know, with her not having a power for four years, no hot water, it's just amazing the feeling you get. Rebuilding Together's mission is, is fantastic. It's, it's honestly, it's overwhelming, it's, it's heartwarming. What they do for the community, what they do for the people, uh, is what Cricket Communications tries to do as well by giving back to the community, uh, the locals and the local businesses here in uh, Central Las Vegas. Rebuilding Together is the only volunteer community partnership organization that does this type of work exclusively. Our sole mission is to provide the safe, warm, and dry environment for our seniors and disabled who aren't able to maintain their homes themselves. Without this kind of work, it wouldn't happen. These folks would go into assisted living or into an institution. I can't imagine what it's going to be like to walk into my home and flip a light on and have cool air, warm air, food, not living out of a cooler. It's going to be wonderful from the bottom of my heart, from my soul, I thank you. I'm Doug Hutchison, CEO of Cricket Communications, and I want to give everybody congratulations for 4,000 homes uh, to, uh, this weekend with Rebuilding Together. I'm Kip Dana. And I'm Catherine Anaya from KPHO CBS 5 in Phoenix, Arizona. We want to thank everyone involved in the Rebuilding Together project. Your time and dedication change lives. And make our community a better place to live.